Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. A very interesting story um, has surfaced. Now, many of you know that there were a lot of armed militia men uh, who showed up at the Michigan Capitol with a lot of weapons. And they were just treated like re regular average citizens. As a matter of fact, they say anyone who shows up with um, certain other items they say oh we consider those to be weapons i'm talking about things like umbrellas and things like that you can't enter in but these men were allowed to enter in with guns <clears throat> guns okay so what has happened on the flip side of that is armed activists escorted a black lawmaker to michigan's capital after these protests were attended by these white supremacists so she felt unsafe. Hmm. But I'm willing to bet that a lot of people who see the people who showed up with this, this young black woman, uh, who's a professional woman, she is a state representative. I'm pretty sure that they think that it's something wrong with that image. Uh, the group um, of protectors <laughs> that showed up with her, um, they are also activists. They are black and Latino. <clears throat> interesting but i'm pretty sure pretty sure that a lot of people think that there is something wrong with that people who would probably sit in support of the man uh the white supremacists who showed up at the michigan capitol who thought that they were great people great men just like donald trump said that they were these were good people i wonder if he thinks that these people who escorted Representative Sarah Anthony, a Democrat. I wonder if he think they're great people as well. Hmm. According to Anthony, the April 30th protest was different from prior coronavirus protests that have occurred at the Capitol in recent weeks because many of the demonstrators stormed inside the building and were armed. Anthony also said some of the protesters had Confederate flags and swastikas which she found extraordinarily triggering for her as an African-American woman. <clears throat> Interesting. So she said it was very intimidating for her. It was a very intimidating environment. And she goes on to say that I've just never experienced being so frightened and so intimidated in my life. She also posted the video on Facebook, on Facebook, and she filmed as the protest raged outside. Members of her community responded, and when Anthony returned to the Capitol on Wednesday for the first time since the demonstration, she was escorted by a group of six Black and Latino activists who carried their own guns. <clears throat> wow. Large conservative organizations have helped back the anti-lockdown demonstrations, which have taken place in at least 18 states around the country. Though the demonstrations are focused on pre pressing to lift coronavirus safety measures in order to boost eco economic activity. They have also attracted a wide variety of groups dedicated to other causes, such as militia members, gun rights activists, and white supremacists. Interesting how they all kind of mesh together somehow. They all kind of mesh together somehow. Okay, so <clears throat> anyway, um, what are your th your thoughts on this? The militia men, the white supremacists, they go in with weapons. Now these men, they just escorted the woman to the building. And if you're one of those who think that somehow the woman being escorted to the building was too much for your eyes to behold, uh, then chances are you're one of those people that um, many refer to as a reprobate. If you didn't see anything wrong with uh, the others who actually stormed into the, the state capitol. Okay. Um, no longer are, is anyone surprised by these things. We're not surprised at all. 
we're not even surprised by the response and the double standards. But it's really shocking still. I don't care how many times you say it, it's really shocking that people can be so blind to their own ways to the point where they see a difference in these things um, that this one shouldn't happen, but this one is okay. There's no trying to get through to people like that. You cannot penetrate that type of evil. Okay? I'm done with this story. I just wanted to share that with those of you um, who didn't realize that this was even going on, that this woman was so afraid, this black woman was so afraid that she had to get armed escorts in order to go back to work and feel safe. Mm, mm, mm. But this is the land of the free and the home of the brave, right? All right, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.